a citizenship, for the way in which individuals can make plans for the medium to long term future, that the laws will remain broadly the same, etc. Et um, the problem that I see uh, is, is the problem of democracy in a way. We all, I think we can all accept that at the heart of democracy is consent, consent to be governed. We, we vote every four or five years with the new government, thereby expressing our consent uh, to be governed uh, by that particular configuration of parties or coalition. But what happens if a particular area, a particular region, a particular part of the community consistently says over time we no longer wish to give our consent to belong to by the way, is the argument being made by British Eurosceptics. Uh, over a period of time, a significant proportion of the population of Britain says we no longer wish to be part of the European Union. They may be wrong, but that's, what, that's their argument. And it seems to me that if we do look at this problem of consent in the face, then I think um, the majority faces a dilemma. If they are true to the democratic I think they have to look at how to deal with this. Now, separate status does not, be, does not have to be the secession. It can be devolution, uh, can be deconcentration of power, it can be confederation, it can be a personal union, all sorts of possibilities are there. Um, and I think the majority almost certainly has to think about this problem uh, when, it, when it rises, when it rises on the agenda. Uh, a referendum can offer a way out. And by the way, the referendum is inherently political and non-violent, but it doesn't necessarily lead to secession. Think about Quebec, which eventually got a referendum after a considerable agitation, and the majority voted in favor of staying in Canada. A strong minority was antagonistic to it, but actually I think the majority opinion was for Canada. Not just the Anglo votes in Canada, a sizable proportion of the Anglo votes as well. And I think that from the perspective of stability, uh, there are advantages uh, to granting uh, the demands of a region for greater self, self administration, for greater power. As I say, it doesn't have to result in new state relation. What I'm getting at here is that if you have a dissatisfied minority in a state, then it will continuously distort the overall politics of the state. I mean, think about Spain, where the Catalan and Basque issues were thought to be settled, but actually they're distorting Spanish politics. Um, we can argue about the reasons why. Um, my sense of it is that majorities see the minority differently. There are different perspectives. It's quite part of the diversity. <coughs> minority the issue of status, power, self-government, 